Well, to talk more about reaction from Germany, let's bring in France 24's Nick Spicer in Berlin. Nick, uh, what else have people been saying there? Well, I think anybody you talk to in the street recognizes uh, the huge role that Gorbachev made in bringing Germany together and how much the country and Germans owe to him. There's another policy that wasn't mentioned in, in that obituary, and that's the Sinatra doctrine. When Gorbachev said, look, it's going to be my way for all of the countries that are members of the Warsaw Pact, that's the military alliance that was the counterweight to NATO. In other words, if you have problems in your country, we're not going to intervene militarily, as we did in the Czech, Czechoslovakia in 68 or in Hungary in 1956. So when the peaceful revolution took place here, beginning in 1989 uh, and going into 1990, Eric Honecker, who was the head of the East German dictatorship, begged for Soviet intervention, for Moscow intervention, and, and none came. And it's curious because, you know, on the 40th anniversary of the foundation of the German Democratic Republic, the communist uh, East Germany, Gorbachev was visiting the country and people in East Germany were chanting, Gorby, Gorby, Gorby. Just one last note, there was another person Person in East Germany at that time who took note of events and wasn't at all happy about them. And that was a lieutenant colonel in the KGB by the name of Vladimir Putin, who saw the events with great concern and carried uh, that lesson of history with him uh, all the way to the Kremlin and to the position that he's in now. Nick, of course, relations between Russia and the West have changed a lot uh, over the years. And Gorbachev's death comes as Russia's invasion of Ukraine is having a severe effect on energy prices all across Europe. Uh, the Russian energy giant Gazprom uh, has now suspended gas deliveries to Germany for what it says is maintenance on the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Are, are Germans nervous about that latest, latest move? I think um, there's some eye rolling going on. Th this was maintenance that was slated uh, to take place, but deliveries have been hitting the 20% mark. If you look at the volume going through the pipeline, basically this whole relationship um, as far as hydrocarbons between uh, Germany and Russia resembles, you know, a couple breaking up and they're just throwing kind of insults and, at, at each other. Germany has announced it's killing the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. That's that's done and dusted. It has announced that it is giving up entirely on Russian gas by 2023. That relationship is over. They used to get 60% of uh, their gas from Russia. So that's a big declaration. What we're seeing now um, is a gradual winding down. Germany anticipating that there will not be perhaps enough gas. They've filled all of their gas containers, all of their reservoirs as much as they can, around 85% full now to get through the winter and they've already had an action plan for companies and consumers uh, to not feel the effects too much. There's money for consumers and there's a you know rationing system in place. So not a lot of a surprise. I guess there'll be a surprise really if, if the, if the uh, Russians suddenly turn the gas on again. That's the only th kind of surprise I can foresee. All right, Nick, thanks for that. Nick Spicer there in Berlin.